so I love look up screaming every night. So I was hoping to treat his videos and maybe be able to help me and give me it possibility to opportunity and chance to give me a ticket to California. I really need to go so I really would quite help and request it. I don't really like that. I was really hoping that I would be able to reach a lot of people that took a while I could at least one one friendly, wonderful person I was hoping to and then one person, friendly, wonderful person would be would discover my videos and would be so kind and one and such a wonderful and incredible wonderful person that would really try to make an effort to help me and reach out to me. I was trying to reach out to these people and really really was hoping to find that one person that would be able to somehow help me and maybe one day get me out of here, take me out of here really like rescue me, come to my rescue, like a rescue ranger. Still, it's really difficult. But I was, I was still, I was, I had very firmly decided that I would not lose hope. How, ever, whatever happened, I was decided I, I should never lose hope. That I should just keep on, keep going on. I should just keep on trying, keep on believing, keep on having faith. Really, you don't do it. It's really hard. In the most difficult and worst and saddest moments, and I was feeling very depressed, and horrible, and terrified, and afraid. Like I said, paranoid. I couldn't trust anybody. I couldn't confide in anybody. I felt suspicious of all the people around me, all the strangers, and I was afraid for my life. I was fearing for my life, and I was scared afraid of everything, having nightmares, of course, of being killed, having nightmares of being chased around, running away from a serial killer or a zombie or some kind of a criminal or something with a demon or something like that and running away from them every night in my nightmares and horrible and trying to be chased around and eventually, of course, every night I was killed or stabbed or shot and killed and every night during in those nightmares and it was horrible, it was really horrible, tough times for me. But yes, and I couldn't stop out so I was fearing that some horrible criminal or serial killer would would sneak in into my apartment, to my flat and through a window or somehow would manage to get get the door open or something. So I was really fearing for my life and couldn't step outside of my house. For weeks, there were weeks, weeks, very, well, several weeks when I couldn't step outside of, my, outside of my house and I was starving because I couldn't even make it to the nearest store. It was located on the street where I was living. It was just 200 meters away, as I already explained in that earlier video. But I even couldn't make it there because I was so much afraid of this. I always got these panic attacks. When I tried to step outside of my house, when I tried to put my hand on the door handle and when I was trying to open the door, I was really very trying to trying to get make it trying to go to the store and buy some food. So I had very little money of course. Of course, but I had some savings, I had saved up some money and that saved up, fortunately. Luckily, of course, I had these savings, but I, of course, also fearing that somebody would break into my house and if somebody would be a conscious and would know about my savings and somebody would, for that reason, break into my house and rob me and kill me in the end, stab me to death or something like that. I was afraid, constantly afraid and worried and concerned about everything and I had this constant anxiety, I was constantly anxious and afraid. This was such a bad, horrible situation. But I still wanted to keep that spark alive inside of me, you know, like I was explaining about, like, I had this picture in my mind that I, because my current situation, my reality, reality, reality I was living in, 
It's really horrible that I couldn't see any hope, so I had to imagine if I up an imaginary, you know, just kind of imaginary reality where everything would be like a beautiful fairy tale and everything. I would have friends like playing guitar, you know, I was like explaining in it earlier, whatever having friends around me, having fun with my friends and having all these friends supporting me and helping me and giving me advice and really being there for me, all guys, my old friends, my friends and would be there, you know, helping me, supporting me, my streaming off, I just created, in my mind, I created this imaginary reality, invented in my mind, made up this reality that I was trying to, I was just feeling that I was not there, I was feeling I was lost my touch of reality and and it's a fucking, it's ridiculous and fucking strange, oh my god, it's like, am I having, am I hallucinating again, hallucinations, or is there somebody in my house, I can feel noises, I can feel sounds, so it's like a actually there is there's not supposed to be anybody here in my house because I'm living alone and I don't know. I don't have any friends in this city. I don't know anybody in this city. I've been all alone here in my apartment. It is hopefully, I hope that I truly am safe here and alone. But I'm not sure that the locks in my jaws are very secure. I'm having this something. I didn't know, know if you could hear something. I could hear noise, someone making noise here, slamming the doors, and like I could hear some people talking, and really I think they were shaming or plotting something against me, like they were talking about killing me or something, and I'm really fearing for my life here. I can hear all these women hallucinating, it's horrible. I feel like I'm losing my touch of reality because I've been trying to live, create this reality trying to in my dreams I have tried to fly away from this horrible place into a beautiful place in kind of maybe a different dimension somewhere or something I don't know different planet or something maybe Saturn or something but a place where I would be having I would have friends and I would be feeling good and I would be feeling safe a place where I would feel safe and happy and yes, to have friends. Yes, of course. Which I can hear. Just noises, now it's scared. I was making noise and slamming the door. And sure, the wind is howling here. And the wind is so cold here, even outside. Outside, so of course, it's been raining. You know, it's been raining here non stop for the last two and half days or at least like for the last 54 hours or something like that it has been raining constantly and I have just just checked the latest weather forecast in the internet and the rain is forecast now to continue all the way uh, until the beginning of next week and it's only Wednesday now so the rain is going <laughs> going to go on for another four days and I have seen, haven't seen I have seen even a second of sunshine I haven't seen a ray of sunshine for three weeks and I've been here in the dark and it's raining and it's really cold and the cold is really sneaking into this house the warming, the heating here is really bad. It's a really much a very bad situation here. <coughs> and I hope someone can help me make me a nice cup of tea. I have no, actually have no food left here in my house because I haven't been, as I explained earlier, I haven't been able to go to the store because I get these horrible panic reactions when I step outside. Panic. Yeah. <laughs> These strangers, I feel they really like although it might seem sound like complete nonsense that and I'm trying to make myself 
believe that people could don't mean to harm me and don't mean to, you know, kill me or they're not gonna kill me the <laughs> second I step outside, but still, I can't, even though I'm trying to, trying to get to touch of reality, I'm kind of just really trying to be rational and, you know, rational and really trying to be realistic and really trying to change my way of thinking and really improve my situation if I could really get better and I could get over, I could really get over, overcome these uh, panic attacks and panic reactions and this paranoia and all this burn what feelings that I have and all this constant fear and anxiety and that I really need I don't have any food left in this house I don't have anything also the tap water of course there is running water in my house sure there is but it tastes like crap it's dirty it tastes like old horrible dishwater and it's dirty and I can't even drink it I feel that it's not suitable we're drinking that tap water here, it's really dirty and I'm afraid and I can't, well, I'm forced to drink this water but it tastes horrible and I don't have any food left in this house, not even crisp bread, not even a slice of bread here, I don't have anything here, no oh, cheese, let alone, I wish I had some sweets, candy, chocolate, ice cream, tea, any if someone, if someone could really make me at this very moment, if someone could right now make me a cup of tea, I would be forever thankful and grateful. I'm serious. I really mean it. I'm, I'm serious about this. I really mean it. Even a cup of tea would be like a gift from heaven at my very merry moment, like a um, um, plain cup of tea. Someone just, you don't have any tea left. Yes. Ah, yes, this might, I hope, maybe my situation and my current state of my I hope my situation will improve tomorrow. I'm really been open. I've been making a wish on the stars every night. Every night I have made a wish under the stars. And well of course I can't see the stars, I have to imagine them. I just have to picture the stars in my mind because there's this constant layer clouds, dark, grey, black clouds covering the entire sky. There's like an eternal, horrible, dark, black, white layer wheel of clouds covering this, covering this forsaken, dreadful place that I'm living in is covered by eternal blackness and darkness clouds and rain drizzle is ever present here but I'm still trying to give this little spark inside of my life this little glimmer of hope I'm trying to reach out to you through I'm recording these videos I'm not recording these videos for attention just that I'm having such a bad situation here such a hopeless situation I'm starving I haven't eaten anybody anybody <laughs> Fucking, oh my god, of course, I'm too afraid of people, and of course, I, would, I haven't eaten, eaten anything for the last, during the last five days, so it, the situation is getting pretty alarming and critical here, the situation, the situation is really, really critical and really, 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 really dreadful at the moment, so. I'm starving here. The tap water is terrifying. 
actually find it dirty and it's dirty around. It's wet and damp here and the wind is go cold wind is sneaking into the house through the windows because the this stupid house this apartment block of apart and apartments block of glass and living in is not even complete. Uh, the pro even is not even properly hasn't it hasn't been properly designed and constructed. It's just these windows let in let a lot of cold air and inside and it's also it's there I don't I don't know if you can see notice but I and see there's water dripping. Water dripping. <laughs> this roof, the ceiling, it's not even waterproof this place and I'm so afraid and scared and I'm starving and I can't drink this water. I can't drink water because it's so dirty and I'm starving and I have no food left here and anything and I'm completely hopeless and I'm alone and I'm so suspicious and scared and afraid of all the people here and I have no friends here and I'm so suspicious and paranoid and I'm having such a lot of problems and it's just horrible, different, nightmarish, dreadful situation here that I'm hoping that I'm recording this video it's not for attention but I'm hoping that someone would notice me. Notice me and take my hand. Why are we strangers? Well, our love is strong. Why carry on without me? And every time I try to fly, I fall without my wings. I feel so small. I guess I need you, baby. Every time I see you in my dreams, I see your face haunting me. I guess I need you, baby. Make believe that you are here. It's the only way I see clearly what I've done. I seem to move anything. So it is a cry for help. It's a really request. I really need help. I'm really reaching out to you, whoever. I hope that someday someone will discover this video and find this video. And will you be able to help me and hear my cry of help and be able to help me. And I'm trying to, to someone who should finally notice me and not find me. And here's a notification. Sure, it's a notification. I write this down, okay? I need help. If you see this video, if you, if you, the person, kind of a friend, full friendly person who hopefully finds this, discovers this video one day, could help me. And I'm in those voices again. I'm hoping that you could help me. If you discover this video, please send help. Please reach. I'm reaching out to you. I'm trying to help you. Hoping you help me. Internet makes it nice. Okay. If you ever find this video, thank you. Please send help. Okay, goodbye. Thank you.